The rapper Two Chains has a thing for luxury, so when he was in New York earlier this month to promote his new Viceland TV show, Most Expensivest, he made a beeline for Christie's New York, on the eve of its post-war and contemporary art sale. Wearing a black Supreme hoodie, red and white track pants, white Balenciaga sneakers and maybe five pounds of gold chains, two chains rolled into the auction house a few minutes after 4 p.m. On a windy Tuesday, with a crew that included a stylist, a personal photographer, a publicist, and a bodyguard. I'm a creative soul, so I'm intrigued by this all, he said to Anna Maria Sellis, a Christie's vice president and specialist in post-war and contemporary art, who met him in the lobby of the Airy, museum-style space at Rockefeller Center. M.S. Sellis, who had spent the previous two weeks ushering prospective buyers through the much-hyped sale, which included Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, had a proposal. Let's just say you're my client today, she said. Two Chains wasn't having it. We're going to be friends, he said, as he wrapped his arm around her. Let's walk and talk. He moved through Christie's with the eager, excitable air of a dutiful student, fist pounding and taking selfies with security guards. He respected fine art but knew little about it. M.S. Sellis first led two chains through a back door into Gallery 6, on the west side of the building, which housed Andy Warhol's 28-foot wide 60 Last Suppers, a composition of 60 black and white silkscreen interpretations of da Vinci's iconic painting, and one of Warhol's final works. It was valued at $50 million, and ended up selling for $60.87 million. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life, said Two Chains, temporarily struggling for words as he gazed at the gargantuan piece of art. This makes me want to be a billionaire. Can you imagine having this over your dining room table? Oh my god. You'd have to have the longest dining room table in history. The group walked to Gallery 1, and as M.S. Sellis was describing another painting, Two Chains was distracted by a 40-carat yellow diamond ring displayed behind a wall of glass. As his stage name suggests, Two Chains is a jewelry fanatic. Put it on me. I'm going to marry myself next year, he said, taking a detour into the jewelry section. A call was placed to Caroline Irvin, a junior jewelry specialist, who promptly arrived and fetched the ring. The wrapper was taken aback by the $2.5 million price tag. I got a couple dollars laying around, but Jesus I better start wrapping all night. He's accustomed to working for his riches. Two chains, born Tarheed Epps, grew up in the poor Atlanta suburb of College Park and played basketball at Alabama State University before dropping out and selling drugs at a car wash. He started rapping and fell in with the local rapper Ludacris, who signed him to the disturbing THA Peace label as part of a duo called Play A's Circle. In 2007, Play A's Circle had a small hit with the song Duffel Bag Boy, which featured Lil Wayne, but it wasn't until Mr. Epps changed his name to Two Chains around 2011, and made luxury and outsize riches a part of his brand, that his career took off.